Hey, Jody here. This is my friend Andrew Carden. This video is on 12 inch pipe, all downhill, 532 6010 route. Why 532 instead of 1 8 route? Faster travel speeds, get the pipe done faster so you can back fill the hole and get out of there. Hot and fast. <laughs> Let's do it. Before we get started, I want to say a quick thank you to a few companies, one of which is Triangle Engineering. They provide coupons for pipe as well as plate. They sent these 12 inch coupons for this video. I also got a very timely email from Rigid asking me if I had any use for this pipe clamp that goes up to 12 inch. And it just so happens that 12 inch was the size that Andrew and I were going to be working on as well as a series of plate tests practicing route working up to pipe. And so thanks to Rigid, also thanks to ESOB, this Rebel 285 has been performing like a beast. We're at 125 amps here for these tacks and the root pass using 532 6010 electrodes and jam it in there to get full penetration on each one of the tacks and then of course we'll feather the tacks before, before the root pass is welded. The fit up here is roughly 332 gap with 332 opening. That's a pretty big rod to try to jam in there for anything much tighter but that's a matter of preference. Rigid also offered to send me this tri stand that goes up to 12 inch pipe and I said absolutely. You know I've used rigid stuff for a long long time. Every pipe welder out there has used rigid stuff. It's just good stuff. You can see you can kick this leveling leg here and uh, just really efficient. But we're going to drop it down a little bit so that Andrew can show body positioning uh, on how you would do it in a ditch basically or you know what's most common. So let's talk about body positioning a little bit before we get into the arc shots technique and all that stuff. Strike, keep it 90, keep it 90, come down, come down, come down. Oh, I gotta make sure this is not gonna get hung up. Strike into this, and then I'll probably reposition myself. Strike, 90. Okay. This shows the challenge of using a 532 rod on a root like this. It's a challenge to get it jammed in there tight enough to get it get full penetration and not have undercut on the toes on the inside. But that's the key. Keep it jammed in there and keep the right rod angle. Of course you got to have your amperage right. We're using 125 amps here again. Here we go. Coming off that tack, you can hear it. You can hear it start blowing through the backside here. Keeping the arc nice and tight. Keeping the angle just about aimed toward the center of the pipe. So the keys are having the right amperage, the right pressure on the rod, and the right rod angle. And of course sound can kind of help you on this too. You know, you get used to a certain sound that you hear when, when the, uh, the penetration is right. And it's jammed in there nice and tight. And of course there's a feel to it. You know, you, you see guys on Instagram and on YouTube, uh, Bob Moffitt. Kamar Igilo, they'll flip the hood up, get a drink of Gatorade or water or something while they're doing this. You know, it's just, uh, you don't see much light on the outside when the arc is like it should be. Now all tacks are feathered, in a minute we're coming up on a feathered tack. And you'll see the arc get a lot brighter right there. That's because the arc's not going on the inside of the pipe anymore, now you're seeing it all. Andrew forgot his pipe wedge here, so he's having to open up the gap a little bit with a slitting wheel. And then here we go again. Lighten up on the tack, warming that tack up nice and good before we get to the end of it where we can plunge through. And then more of the same. You see his rod is pointing just about toward the center of the of the pipe and you don't see a whole lot of a whole lot of light on this side. It's moving pretty quick too. At 532 is no joke. You know, that gets gets a root pass put in there pretty quickly. Now Andrew is doing what he showed before in body positioning moving his body under because he's got to maintain light of, line of sight where he can see what's going on. We can see the tip of that rod. Now he's at the bottom of a pipe like this. You're sort of looking at a little bit different perspective. And that is part of downhill pipe welding. You know, you're looking at the, at the puddle from one angle at one time and then on the bottom there's just kind of no getting ahead of it sometimes and so you're looking at the, the rear of the puddle. Well that roots in there on that side some good reinforcement. Usually what will happen is on the hot pass 
and subsequent passes if you got some reinforcement like this it'll push it through even further just from the shrinkage of the metal I'm going to go over now a series of, of root pass practice that we did because I believe that there's no point in getting on pipe until you can run a decent root on three different plates vertical downhill flat and overhead so here's Andrew to introduce that review of root pass practice on plate hey it's your boy juice box Andrew Cotton I'm here all cleaned up with my new coat shirt, but I don't like to learn from people who are nice and clean. I want to learn from somebody who's dirty, so let's get at it. The first plate is going to be downhill, and it's going to be done with a 1 8 rod, about a, a roughly a 332 gap and a 332 rod. Straight up downhill. And this is, this is, this is to mock up the side of the pipe, you know, the 9 o'clock and the 3 o'clock positions. So if you can do a, if you can do a 1 8 on a plate like this and do it consistently then you're ready to move on to a bigger rod on pipe but it's just a matter of rod angle and travel speed pressure on the rod and having the right amperage of course the machine makes a difference too but you just have to figure that out you want some reinforcement on the back side you want nice you know even uniformity no undercut at the toes no porosity no nothing like that all right, overhead is another plate that's that's good to tackle next. Again, with a one eighth rod, I will make sure to link up the playlist in the description of this uh, YouTube video, as well as around here and several other places where you can pull up the playlist on these plate practice tests. I think it's just a really good a good plan to gear up for pipe using plate. All right, next we're doing a 45 downhill. Now we're jumping up to 532 rod. 126 amps, 532 rod. Again, the fit up is about the same. 332 gap, 332 land, 30 degree bevels. That does matter because if you're using, you know, if you're using different degree bevels, that changes up to land. You see how he had to get back in the puddle there real quickly. You got to make quick adjustments like that. And here is here's uh, me trying my hand at this, and I sucked up pretty hard, but Andrew was coaching me up pretty good, changing my rod angle made a lot of difference once I started getting more of a straight in rod angle then the roots started coming through a whole lot better for me thanks Andrew alright again you want your root to have some reinforcement here but not too much you want it to be uniform without any undercut at the toes and once you can do these three plates I think it's a good time to transition and start training on pipe 